What's up everyone? I cover my face in peanut butter and scream like a little girl on Jimmy Master Animatronics. And wasn't it time already for me to review something robot related? I think it was. And even though this has been in the channel before, I'm gonna be doing a probable more deep review, a deeper one. So, this, as you guys can see, is the Jemmy Son of a Bucket, made in 2005 and sold at Spencer's. Um, it is confirmed, it actually is from Spencer's. He has, he's got the Spencer's price tag, which doesn't really say anything. I mean, I'm Argentinian, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know anything about, you know, um, places around the US. I just know that Kevin told me, yeah, that's pretty much the, the tag that Spencer's had for like the price and everything, which I'm gonna show it's actually on the back. Anyway, um, this guy, I received it from a friend, a really nice robot collector, you know, we can call it a fellow collector, uh, a girl, yeah, she's called Alicia, Alicia Gunderman, and she is the owner of a channel called I Am Fari Marie, Marai, Marie, I think, Marie, Marie, I, I Am Fari Marie, it just, no, it, ignore me. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Don't. I don't want to just get stuck on that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's. I think how it's how it's called. She's a, mainly a robot collector, and she loves robot animals. And basically, <coughs> as she knew that I was coming to Kevin's, she wanted to give her to give um. How's it called? To give like how 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 can I explain it? To to um to put her. Her little sand particle show so basically she she bought me this and she bought one for herself because there was a lot of two on on ebay which they were uh 18 bucks and she got one and i got the other one thankfully mine was the worst one and don't get me wrong i'm not saying it ironically thankfully mine is the worst one because knowing her she got the best one out of both because this one had a rusted contact and believe it or not the corrosion got to the switch and from the switch to the wire from the board and from there it's been literally 13 years doing nothing but corroding the board and I'm really thankful that it still works because I did have to remove the the mini board that it has that's stuck to the bigger board and change a few wires do a few adjustments and everything I mean I'll go ahead and explain everything once I get it out but right now this is enough of a bucket he's, he's got batteries in he's turned on and basically this is what you can do from the factory, not not from from the uh, from the store, because of course he has a a hole here to push the buttons, and he also does have the batteries for the remote. And of course, the only um, the only buttons that you're kind of able to push are these. So I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you. This is the the test. This is the introduction. And if the robot is in the on mode, if you push that button, it automatically turns off. Hey, you touched my button. Let's celebrate. That's the actual play mode. <laughs> Let's party. Oh, I'm going to puke. How may I serve you? So now, if you want to, you can make him dance. Ooh, want me to dance? Ooh, need a twig first. Alright, so I'll get to the box so I can take him out of it <coughs> and tell you a bit more about these disc shooting robots. Um, number one, of course, the front. You, you see the robot. It says, try me, press the top button for demo, press the bottom button to try the remote. Which, as I've said before, they both come with batteries, so yeah. Son of a bucket, SOB. Now, why does it say SOB like that? I personally think it has to do with something of sobriety. Yeah, sober, something like that. Um, here it says like the, the first step or something like press the chug and puke buttons on the remote and watch sub or SOB puke out in action discs. And of course, Erf, yeah, it's the sound he makes when, when you first make, put him into that mode. He pukes action discs. He mouths off. He drinks way too much. And of course, if you can see, there's actually um, like some sort of re graphical rendition to ICs on the back, like uh, integrated chips, which is pretty neat. And of course, the entire trim of the box is covered with nothing but some sort of binary code 
with nothing but the name of the robot. Son of a bucket, son of a bucket. And it's really neat. I mean, the funny thing is that here they actually do match and it says KO, 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 or OK. I think it's OK, OK, OK. So yeah, here's the, the, the top. Stumbles and rolls both forward and backward, turns his head, and of course, drunk robots gotta dance. Because why not? And first, yeah, the, the name logo type looks like a TV of some sort. Includes wireless remote control, lets you. No, included. Wireless remote control lets you control your SO bots next hilarious action. Aim your SO bots for. and your SO bots for puking action discs. Is he drunk? Run a sobriety test. Which is just another sort of dance for me. The same thing that it says on the top and son of a bucket. The back, of course. Son of a bucket, included wireless remote control, he pukes action discs, he mouths off, he drinks way too much, stumbles and rolls both forward and backward, turns his head, and of course the drunk, drunk robot's gotta dance. Here is the Spencer's tag that I believe it is. It was around 20 bucks when it first came out, so basically Alicia got these two for a steal of 18 bucks for both robots. It was a, a lot of two. Um, Jemmy.com, of course, and 2005 Jemmy Industries Corp. You guys know the, the main um, Jemmy headquarters location, which is Capel, Texas, made in China, and the Jemmy logo type from back in 2005 when they actually did put the square. Because, of course, you guys probably know the one from the 90s and some sort of like around 2000s is the regular G with nothing on it. Then they changed it to this one, which is the one that my leg kicking monkey has, and a couple of others. So, the other side is practically the same as the other side, which just lets, gives you a lot of indications. And of course, the bottom. The bottom says a lot of things like <coughs> the instructions and everything. They did actually put them, just, yeah. Uh huh. All right, so, instructions requires six AA batteries included. Carefully remove product from package, yeah. Um, battery compartment located behind item. It's illustration to move toggle switch to activate, move toggle switch on the back of the item to on position. Funny thing, he's already on, so I don't know why they put that. This activates wireless remote control. Replace batteries with movements. There's got to be something about the batteries that are included. Because they do tend to use battery usage. See standard. Not means not using battery manufacturing instructions. Um, car polarities. Do not short circuit terminals. These are part of the packaging and should be discarded. Attention, six AA batteries. Yeah, includes six AA batteries for in-store demonstration only. Manufacturer makes no guarantee as to the demonstration battery life. Yep. The consumer is responsible for replacing the batteries with fresh cells to ensure proper operation. Adult supervision is recommended when replacing batteries. Now the thing is, this is a Spencer's robot and it's a drunk robot. I don't know why they actually put adult supervision it's like buying an explicit frocks for a kid. What am I joking? I used to have an explicit 50 cents frock when I, was, when I was little. You know what? Let's not get into that. <laughs> I used to have an explicit frocks when I was little. <coughs> and, oh shit! Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, he's fine. He's fine, right? Hello, I am son of a bucket. Yeah. Excuse me, I need my daily pick-me-up. So the mouth actually does hit the ground if he falls. Unless he's tied. Now, if he's tied, it actually would not happen, because usually these bring ties, which I'm actually going to show. So, basically what you can do to unbox it is the little tab. You take the tab off, you open it up, which I've already fixed the box, because it was fucked up. And you just take it out. <coughs> it comes in its own little stage, and it even brings a black background, which there was a dead spider, believe it or not. even There even was a dead spider into this. And it brings, of course, the manual, which it's a really generic manual, and it's just like any other manual. It doesn't even say anything about, you know, about the robot being by Jimmy. So I'm going to actually mention something funny about this robot later on. Now, this, this robot, the fact that it's Jimmy, I actually was the one who found that out because... Uh, me and Kevin were, like, passionately talking one time about robots and shit, like, you know, distributing robots, and I was like... I wonder, because of course there was one on eBay that was called Gami Industries. It was called, it was under the name Gami Industries. And I was like, what the fuck? That, that sounds similar. And basically I go to the old robot website and I see that the robot, I think the robot in the neck, it actually said it was Jimmy. Of course, I completely misunderstood because it said made in China. But 
it turns out it is actually a jammy because I go to the uh, robot web, the old robot's website, and I see the back of the box. It says www point jammy no dot jammy dot com. So I'm just like, yes, this is a jammy. Of course, we both we both <coughs> we both spaced out and everything. And I told Kevin, listen, dude, you gotta buy yourself one. You gotta buy yourself one. And next thing you know, I bothered him so much he gave he gave up and he bought his, which is a lower pitch. Um, <coughs> thing is that a uh, year after that. Uh, this whole thing happens that I say, I, t I tell Kevin, hey, I'm going to meet up and everything. And then that's when Alicia says, well, I'm going to buy something for you and, you know, for for, Ke uh, for for myself as well. And yeah. So <clears throat> here's the entire thing. And it still it doesn't say Jimmy anywhere. It just says son of a bucket. So somebody can just put Richie because the original robot of this is called Richie. I'll get to that in a bit, too. Front, in infrared receptor, demo button, start button, on off switch, battery compartment, uh, LED indicator, disc loader, disc launcher. Of course, I'll just, if you guys want to read it, I'll pause. Pause for a couple seconds right now. All right. If you want to read this too. All right. Um, anyway, it just says a lot of a lot of things about how to load the disc in, how to make the head move, how to make the robot chug and puke. It's pretty much just a thing that I already know because I've been dealing with these robots ever since I was a kid. In fact, what I used to have a similar one to this one, which was the Space Visor, which is pretty much a knockoff Robbie. Now, <clears throat> you guys might hear me and be like, who the fuck is Robbie? Who the fuck is the Space Visor? I'll go ahead and explain while I take this guy out of the box. This guy is not an original idea by Jimmy. Maybe the, the, you know, the recording, the fact that it's a drunk robot and that's a really creative idea is actually a Jimmy idea. This is not a Jimmy original product. This product was made by another company, which I believe it was ABL Innovation Co. under the name Richie. It's the exact same robot, only that... The remote says dance, it says ready and shoot, and it basically, of course, it talks like Richie. It says stuff like watch out when you take, when you uh, are about to like, you know, you make it like get ready for shooting the discs. Now I'll go ahead and explain that in a little bit too. I have too much things to explain. Um, believe it or not, me and Kevin were actually testing out some other disc shooting robots, and it turns out there, there's this one robot called Robbie that pukes discs as well and dances and everything. Of course, here's the uh, here's the twist ties. They go to the arm joints, which are these. And it brings 24, I believe they are. Around 24 foam discs, which is great. Now, I think that the prototype one had them green. Yeah, there's a prototype that I think it has has them green, so that we'll leave that to another for another second. <clears throat> okay, so about the son of a bucket, about the robot itself before I even get to the operation. Um, as I've said, this guy did have corrosion on the board. He did in fact have, um, not, not really split gears, he did have an 8 tooth gear that was not even split. He did have a 10 tooth gear that had a 3mm shaft for the disc shooting mechanism that Kevin replaced for me, which by the way, thank you Kevin. Then I replaced the, the A2 gear from the head, I replaced it by a gummy one, so it's really silent. And basically I just made a, a checking on it, I cleaned up a couple parts like the dome and some other pieces and he's now perfect. Anyway, this guy's upset, it's not legit, it's actually a copy. And there's been many, many, many disc shooting robots. And I recall that the original, the original first, um, digital, okay, because there, there's a vintage one that's like a bump and go. The very first original that's really approximate to this one, there's two variants of, of the one I'm going to talk about right now, is Robbie. Robbie was made in 2001 by ABL Innovation Co. in two colors, silver and white. Um, they both had, believe it or not, they both have these two buttons the exact same way. Only that, in the Robbies I've seen so far from Kevin, they have this one glued but there should be a little board that probably gives you an introduction or something. Um, then again, there's, there is a try me version actually that uh, has like a box that has like a little flap that opens up and you have the robot with the hole. But after that, ABL Innovation Co made Blastobot, which is one that spits the discs by the chest. 
And this pretty much leads us to the next one that came out that was Richie. Richie is the original son of a bucket and the only way you can tell it is or not is because the dome on the head is slightly bluer. Now I know I said that Richie did have blue buttons and I completely messed up on that because I've seen pictures of another ones and I was like no it doesn't it doesn't I, I just completely got it wrong so ignore that but of course it, it comes with the remote the only difference you have of course to see if it's Richie or not is if it says sobriety test Chuck puke come on it's classic I mean Richie I'm sure it just shoots them like any other robot <laughs> Even anyways, the cool thing about this robot is that it's very, it's it's absolutely the same as any other disc shooting robot, believe it or not. I have a Blastobot, I opened it up, and it has the exact same speaker that this one uses in the neck. It uses all identical regular rectangular motors, which are great, and it uses two sets of A-tooth gears and two sets of uh, ten-tooth gears. It uses a ten-tooth gear for each leg. He has a total of five motors, which four of them have gears, one's just a flywheel. Um, four, of course, yeah, two, eight, two tens of gears, one, one for each uh, leg, because there's, there's a motor in each leg. The head has a motor, which is around here, that it uses an A2 gear, and there's an A2 gear for the little tap that, you know, that pushes the discs out. Now, there is a fifth motor, which is the one that it's in charge of the flywheel. If you guys can see inside here, inside the head, there's a motor, there's like a little wheel of some sort on this side, right here. It's because there's a motor that when you when you make the robot be ready to puke the discs, yeah, you can see it right there, there's a wheel. You can you make the robot puke the discs, and even though it seems like it's just a funny phrase or something, he's actually taking his time so that the motor gets to the RPMs it has to have for the discs to shoot right. It's just like any other robot. When the robot says, disc ready, watch out, or, oh, I'm going to toss my discs, oh, beer before liquor, you'll never be sicker, or even laser on. Now, when the robots do that, there is a reason about that, and it's because they're, they're you know, they're leaving, they, they let the motor to start, so whenever you shoot the discs, they make sure that the robot actually shoots them as far as possible. And I'll say this, it shoots them pretty fucking far. Anyway, other than that, I love the audio that this guy has, especially because it's a drunk robot. In all honesty, I'll say for this right now, this is the best disc shooting robot I've ever had. The animation is not the best, nor, nor is the speed, but the mere fact that I got it from a friend, and also the fact that the, there's, a ton, there's a song it plays that that it's pretty neat because it sounds like the part of a video game, like a little, you know, part of a video game, which I'll, of course, show, which is the Sovereignty Test dance, or, well, the Sovereignty Test soundtrack, pretty much. And uh, other than that, I guess, I guess that's practically it. I mean, I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Another thing why I actually like it is because it's Jemmy, and it's the only excuse for me to show a goddamn robot on the freaking channel. Yeah, because, of course, you guys know me. I'm a great robot enthusiast. So, I mean, it's pretty much the only the only way or one of the only. Because if I end up getting my hands, which I do have a couple other disc shooting robots, if I can relate them with Son of a Bucket, I might be able to, re to review them here. I mean, after all, they're not really that much robotics. But anyway, we're going to get Son of a Bucket turned on. For that, we push the rectangular button. And there you have it. So number one, walk forward and backward. Backward. Well, I don't really know what sights those are, but slide forward. Slide backward. Don't fall, please. I'll just bring him down here. Come on, robot slave. There we go. Turn to the camera. Good boy. Head. Please focus, please. Please focus. Very good. 
Turn head. Turn head to the other side. Dance. Ooh, want me to dance? Oh, need a quick first. And of course, because why not, Sovereignty Test, my favorite one. I'm not drunk. I can walk just fine. Watch. Of course, yeah, if you guys can see, whenever you make some sort of command and then you just interrupt it, he'll make a little twitching, which I'm sure you guys, listen. Ooh, want me to dance? Oh, need a twig first. And he actually does, he actually, before he starts dancing, he actually does, like, um, he's actually like receiving another command so he can actually turn the head or something. That's pretty much when you interrupt him with some other command. So yeah, here we go with the drunk dance, or as I call it, the uh, sovereignty test. The arms are posable, by the way, forgot to say that. Um, even though they have clickers or posers, I would rather just pull the arm a little bit so that the posers don't get damaged and put it in any position I want just to um, not ruin or not wear out the teeth on on these things. And of course, just like any other dish shooting robot, the hands are posable and they have two sides. One flat side and one sharp side, which I think it's actually the, art, the side that's supposed to be uh, on the top. You got me there, I actually don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> other than that, here, ladies and gentlemen, is a sovereignty test. He claims he's not drunk, but we'll see. I'm not drunk. I can walk just fine. I love that tune. I just fucking hate it that it's so short. They couldn't have done a bit, you know, a bit longer of a recording, but I love that that tune. Anyway, <coughs> can we get to the almighty disc puking action? Some people will say, and the answer is yes. So another thing, of course, is that the head the head turning sound it actually changes when you're into the disc puking thing. So. I'm gonna actually put him like that, <coughs> or maybe not even that, just... Alright. Um, probably he will puke them around that corner right there. So here we go. This is the other sound. And here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, I am son of a bucket. I completely forgot about that I had to load the discs. Um, now he, of course, yeah, he does have the original discs, but I do have some from some disc shooting robots that I used to have in the past. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. But oh my god, what a blooper. Just, just hold on. Oh my god. All right. What about now? You ready to puke? Yes, daddy. I won't puke until I... That's another thing that Kevin never showed, and I'm gonna go ahead and show it. Just like any other robot, um, especially the one that I used to have, which was um, Space Weiser, which is a knockoff, of course. Uh, I think it was like 2006 when they made it. He says, uh-oh, this is not ready. This one says, I won't puke until I've chugged a few. I won't puke until I've chugged a few. So basically that's what he does when he's not ready, well, for when the flywheel didn't take its time to spin or anything, so here we go. Now, that's the sound, and let's get crazy. Whoa! As I'm saying, he shoots them pretty damn far. Ooh, 
So, <laughs> that's a really, really, really um, big demonstration of how far he can actually shoot the discs if the motor for the flywheel is well lubricated. Because he actually, I actually got, I actually put grease on it. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how far he can actually shoot the discs. In fact, they're all spread right here now, which I don't want to lose them. So I just don't want to lose them. Um, <coughs> as I've said before, it's a really wacky robot, and I'm really thankful for Alicia to, to actually um, have bought that lot for me to keep one, which I definitely love this guy. It's one, Then again, it's a really neat robot, and I really like it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's practically it. Now some bloopers of this guy, besides the one that has happened in this video, is that one day when I was really about to be done with it because he was done, okay? He was, the feet were checked, the head was checked, the head was actually not opened up. No, my bad, the head was opened up. And I'll go ahead and actually show this, which I don't, I cannot show it unless it's on, inside here. The cool thing that Jimmy did, which is one of the things I want to actually do a little recognition, a little highlight on, is that they did put a relay for the disc shooting thing. So it always stays reset. It means it always stays like this. Because if it stays like this, it either shoots it too much too um early, or if I don't know, <coughs> there's some some times when he doesn't even get to uh How's it called? When he doesn't even get to shoot the discs. So what did Jimmy do? What did Jimmy do for this to like fix up that one mistake? Basically, they put a little relay inside that makes the motor constantly run, no matter what mode it is in. Even if it's turned on, it it just makes the motor constantly run until the relay gets hit, and that's basically what this guy had. Um, just for inspection and for lubricating the head motor, I took apart the head. And I took the motor off because, believe it or not, the one bad thing about this guy that some other disc shooters don't have because they usually have, like, the motor well secured is that the motor, you can just take it out by hand like that. It was the motor for the disc shooting mech. And I leave it out and all that I hear when I turn it on is mm, of the motor. And, of course, yeah, I had the head open. I was like, no, no, please don't tell me you're dying or something like you're having a glitch. Oh, my God. Because, of course... I'm very respectful with the things that people give me, and in all honesty, if this guy would fry on me, it would be just pretty much like like insulting Alicia, okay? Even if it's not my fault, it would be like a really big lack of respect to her because of the fact, as I've said, it's it's just like just like if the the golf bag that Jordan gave me would be you know would die on me. That would be then again not not something expected, but at the same time, it would be something really embarrassing for me. Like it would be a, some sort of like lack of respect to him. So anyway, um, the thing is that then I realized that the, the relay was not getting hit and I'm like, I feel like a retard <laughs> because <laughs> I've been literally unsoldering and resoldering wires for like half an hour and then I just realized that and I'm like, I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but anyways, um, I guess that's practically the entire review on the Son of a Bucket. Let me know what you think about it on the comments. And as usual, I'm going to give a little view of the robot. Another blooper that I've had was that I didn't put the wheel to the right way. So the front wheel is always supposed to be plastic. Now, there's one robot that I know about. That is the number one intelligent, which I actually do have a Spanish variant of that one. It also pukes discs and everything. And the robot actually has two rubber tracks. One in the front, one in the back. And when he turns to the side, he actually does like, he does this. And that's what this robot did. Because I took apart one of these two feet, which was this one. And I put the rubber wheel in the front and the, the plastic wheel in the back. So when he would start dancing, he would do this. And I was like, what the hell, what the hell's going on? And I, then I just realized that. The, re the reason why the only, the only, only the back one is the, um, the one that has like the grip on it is so it doesn't have that much grip and basically these two can turn, okay, because these two turn, but the two front ones, whenever the robot turns, they just slide because they're plastic, so they just slip over whatever surface it is at. The rest, of course, the arms the arms are loose, with, but, are, but they're connected with the legs by a pole in the middle and by a pole on the sides because there's, basically, there's two connections on it. There's the pole for the legs, which is this one, which just controls that one leg is in the back and the other leg is in the front because it has a sh an axis in the middle. Like the, the axis of this is in the middle 
and it moves like this so that whenever this one's down, this one's up. And then of course, connecting it to the arms, which you can actually see the board, that is where the arm's attached to. There's a lever in there, which goes directly into the arm, and basically it just connects to this little piece that connects to the back lever of the foot. Anyway, I guess that's practically it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty detailed review on it. In any second, he might end up actually saying um, those like sounds he makes when, when he um, goes to sleep. So I'm going to wait for that because he might do it in any second. Anyway, for the hell of it, I'm going to keep on talking while, while we wait for that. Um, as I've said before, it's got a coin speaker with a resistor. And uh, <clears throat> other than that, of course, it's really easy to take it apart. Only four screws, two in the front and two in the back. And if you want to take the entire lower body, just like any other disc shooter, you can just take it out by taking these two screws out. The four AA batteries are in here. The last battery had the negative terminal, which connects to the switch. It was corroded, and it was actually rusted, believe it or not. It was rusted, and the corrosion went from the from this to the wire, from the wire to the switch, and as the switch was always turned on, if it would have, if it would have been turned off, the thing would, would have been a lot less of a damage because there would be nothing, nothing related to the corrosion being touched. So if this was turned off, it would have been a whole lot better. Anyway. What happened was, as this was like this, the circuit was closed, so the corrosion just went its way through the little tin of the switch and it went to the board. The board is located at the front of the body of the robot, and it's screwed in by four screws at home. <laughs> yep, that's the sound he makes when he goes to sleep. Um, anyway. Hello, I am son of a bucket. Excuse me, I need my daily pick-me-up. <laughs> oh my god, this is 32 minutes, okay. If you got to this point, then congratulations. <laughs> but anyways, um, it got to there, it got to the negative contact, and from there it got to a bunch of contacts that were related. It even got to resistors, and it made a mess. Traces broke off, I had to remake them, I had to remake the solder points, take the little board out, remake some contacts that literally just ripped, put the thing back on, a mess, a mess. Thankfully, it is fully functional, and I'm, I cannot be more grateful to finally own a Jemmy robot. And the fact that I do actually love the, the, the way this robot goes, because he's not as crazy as the others, especially with the head, because Robbie, especially, he's crazy with the head. This one's not that crazy, nor with the legs, so they, they just give, gave it a great proportion of speed. Anyway, I guess that's practically the entire review. I have nothing else to cover on it. Everything has been covered. So, yeah, five motors, um, two LEDs, a speaker, and a big-ass board. Anyway, people, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any more doubts, any more questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. And as usual, as always, I mean, this has been Zodok Leader. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.